Yeah, uh, my mate Terry, he's been going to boxing shows, yeah? And most of the boxing shows he goes to, he sits on the same table as Eddie Richardson. And the last one, he was on the table for Eddie, and I see him with pictures, when well, they were taking pictures, Eddie and him, and it was like, I was gutted, you know what I mean? Because I want to get on the table with Eddie, and I want to talk to Eddie about Albert Redding, when I was in Durham Prison with Fraser and Tony Lawrence and Charlie Richardson and McVicker and all that when McVicker escaped, just to find out what actually did act, what did what did what did go on, yeah. I know that um Eddie and Albert had a fight over Frankie Fraser. Uh, evidently uh, Albert went in uh, bashed Frankie Fraser up. Um this is only hearsay. Um personally myself I think if you bash Frankie Fraser up in prison uh, and you've got to walk down a landing, and you're in trouble, mate. He will do you with water, or he will do you with boiling and scalding water, he will do you one way or the other. But evidently, that is what I was told, that Albert Redding bashed Frankie Fraser up. Um, and then he went, and Eddie went and see um, Albert about what he did to Frank. And there was a big fight between Albert and Frank, Albert and uh, Eddie Richardson. And, all accounts, it was a nil-nil, it was just a draw, yeah? But I was told that Eddie uh, give Albert a good hiding, yeah? Because Eddie Richardson wasn't a bad fighter, mate. He could hold his hands up. But also, Albert Redding, he was a banger. They reckon if Albert, Al Albert Redding hit you on the chin, you was going and you'd be seeing stars because he was he could bang, mate. But evidently, them two was at a fight and it was... It was Eddie that, that was the win winner. But anyway, but they said it was a draw. And then Albert Redding, uh, being the person that he was, he's already bashed up Fraser. He's had a fight with Eddie Richardson. Now he wants Charlie because he's been told that all that lot want to get him, yeah? So they all go on hunger strike in Durham. Uh, Frankie Fraser has said that everybody's got to go on hunger strike. It was about food, it was about teas and all this, that and the other, but they were on hunger strike. The only one that didn't go on hunger strike was Albert Redding. So you can imagine that everybody in Durham Prison had a white bottle of cake, sorry, a white pea cake of, of Albert Redding because he didn't, he didn't go on hunger strike. He went, no, I'll do my own thing. But you got to stick together in a place like Durham Prison. It's, you know... So anyway, he didn't. So now that he's had a fight with Eddie, he's supposed to have bashed up Frankie Fraser. He goes into Charlie's cell, and not Charlie's cell, not Charlie's cell. It's his Charlie come out of his cell. Charlie's on a hunger strike. So, but it, Charlie's now got permission to go to, to the library to pick books up because Charlie wasn't a fighting man. He was more into educating himself, you know? So he went and get a few books and... He in fact now finds it's his chance, Albert, to go in and see Charlie. So he goes and see, goes in with Charlie and starts giving it to Charlie, and Charlie's they start fighting. He hits Charlie on the fin on the chin with the right hand. Now Albert Redding, if he hits you on the chin, you're going to go over and stay over. But they reckon as hard as he hit Charlie on the chin, Charlie hit the floor and bounced straight back up straight away. He grabbed um, Albert Redding round the throat and nearly choked him to death, yeah, it wouldn't let go of him. So the, the screws come in trying to break it up, and Charlie was ripping big big chunks of skin off of Albert, he was trying to rip him apart, yeah? So now, you can imagine, you got, you got Frankie Fraser, you got Charlie Richardson, you got Eddie Richardson, and you also got my mate Tony Lawrence, that all involved, right? Tony Lawrence, isn't around at that time. He's around, but he's with McVicker digging a hole in the wall to escape. That was Tony Lawrence's job with McVicker. He watched McVicker's back while McVicker was digging a hole, and McVicker watched his back while Charlie, while, while Tony Lawrence was digging a hole. And it was McVicker that escaped, right, and never let anybody else go with him. He ruined it. He went too early. So... Me, a little story, right, that I might have told a long time ago, that when I met Tony Lawrence in Chelmsford Prison, years later, 
Um, Tony Lawrence was telling me about the escape that McVicker had. And he said to me that he wants to kill McVicker because of McVicker. When McVicker done the film, he made Tony Lawrence look a fool because he made Tony Lawrence, who was the bodybuilder, the weightlifter in that film, McVicker with glasses, look an idiot. You know, he mugged him off, mate. So now Tony Lawrence wants to kill, wants to kill him, doesn't he? So McVicker um, goes to one round Battersea Park every morning, not far from where Tony Lawrence lived. So Tony Lawrence asked me one day to go with him um, to do something, but it didn't happen. Tony Lawrence was going to shoot him with a 303, one of the old army rifles with a bolt action, yeah? He was going to shoot McVicker. And he wanted to kill him, mate, because taking the mickey out of him, yeah? But it never happened. And it's a shame that, um, it, you know, Tony Lawrence done his own thing. He was a good arm robber, Tony Lawrence, he had a lot, a lot of money. And I think he went to Brighton or something like that and died. Uh, people tried to shoot Tony Lawrence a couple of times, but they, they didn't, it, it, nothing happened. Uh, but he only lived around the corner from, from a vicar. It was luck, the vicar was very lucky that he didn't get killed, mate. But what happened to him, the vicar? He lived in a caravan in the back of a pub. Do you know what I mean? The man, do you know, he made films, bit, bit books and everything, and wound up in a caravan behind a pub, you know? And it's just, it's madness, isn't it, what happens, you know? But um, as I say, I want to go and see um, Eddie Richardson and find out about the fight uh, with, you know, you know, the fight, because, I mean, evidently, the fight with Albert Redding, he won that fight, uh, Eddie. And I would like to know, I don't think Eddie was, would, would lie about the fight. He would tell me the truth, yeah, one way or the other, what happened, yeah? But I always I always thought that he beat Albert, you know, I did think that because there was, but evidently, after the fight with, with Eddie, after the fight with Charlie, and also bashing Fraser up, and also with Tony Lawrence is there as well. I heard that Albert Redding got shipped out of there for his own protection. Um, it must have been true because you've got four guys that that are mad. You know what I mean? That, that would kill Albert Redding in a way if if they could, if they had got him in a cell by themselves. You know, come on. You got Fraser, who was a complete nut nut. He was he was well. I think he'd have made up some tour and just stabbed Albert to death, you know. You've got Eddie, you've got Charlie, they're, they're both a gang enforcers. They'd, they'd have done some terrible things. You've got Tony Lawrence, who's a powerhouse that was with Eddie and Charlie 100%, and with Frank 100%, you know. But he didn't really get on with Frank, Tony Lawrence, uh, too well, because he always thought um, Frank was too much wrapped around the craze. Uh, Frank was always over his, with the craze. Even though he knows the craze dead, he was wrapped around the craze quite a bit. So Tony Lawrence didn't say, uh, have too much to do with Fraser, even though you don't hear too much said about Tony Lawrence, because Tony Lawrence was a dark horse, yeah? Um, he was a bad man, Tony. I mean, I mean when I came out of prison, I met him. Um, he'd done some terrible things that fit the life out of me, you know? <laughs> I swear. But anyway... A nice, nice guy. Anyway, bang, bang, mate. Oh, just a little uh, video. Uh, please give me a comment. It's a nice one.